Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we got to a view listings page where we want to show all our to-dos. Right now, it's just showing the heading, which is to-dos, okay? So we need to supply the to-dos from the database or the listings from the database to display over here. All right, how do we do that? First, let's see how we grab all the to-dos from the database. So hop into Rails console. Okay, now if you remember to see all the listings we have so far, or all the to-dos, we type in listing with a capital L dot all. Okay, now that grabs all the listings that we created so far. All right, if you didn't, if you didn't follow along and create a couple of listings, go ahead and do that at this time. And I'll show you again briefly how to do this. So listing dot create and then we'll go with description and we'll say go to the gym okay so now if I type in listing dot all I see I have three to do's okay three listings okay great so how do I supply this to our view template alright so you do that by first going to listings controller in the index action you create an instance variable and you create an instance variable by giving it this at sign in the beginning and then name it. So we're going to say at listings and set it to listing.all. Okay. Remember, listing.all goes to the listings table and grabs all of the listings and then assigns it to this instance variable that is at listings. Okay. Now, the good thing about the instance variables is that this automatically makes this instance variable available to the view that we have. So remember we have the index.html erb. So this makes it available to the view. So now over here we can iterate through all of our listings and then display them. Right? So we can do something like this. Add listings dot each do listing whoops and then end now if you remember since we're in embedded Ruby in order to put in Ruby code you have to use these Ruby open tags okay and to display something we would need something like this we would need the equals but we don't need that over there now I see that I didn't save the listings controller so let me go ahead and save this go back to our index listing okay so now that we're iterating through each listing what do we do we want to display them right so actually let me set this I think I screwed up something um, I'm going to go to the preferences and soft tabs. I'm going to set it to two. Okay. All right. So that should do the trick. All right. Spaces two. So I'm going to start an unordered list and then I want to list out all the listings so since I want to render what's in there I have to put the equal sign at the end of it so listing dot description because we only have description column and we want to display it okay so let's see what that did Great, now we can see all our listings. It's grabbing it from the database and working correctly. All right, so that's what I wanted to cover in this lesson. And in the next one, we'll add the ability to add listings from the UI instead of from the Rails console. Okay, so I'll see you there.